Hey guys, Monochrome here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Genuinely good to have you. Today we're taking a look at the Kershaw Cinder keychain sized folding knife. Now, I'll be honest guys, this is a personal favorite of mine in spite of its features, not because of them. And here you can see it next to a quarter for size comparison. Let's get that out of the way. Here's a closer look at the knife. I apologize for the reflections. That blade is bead blasted, but yeah, you still get reflections off of it. Let's start out at this end. You have a very generous sized lanyard hole, split ring attachment. That looks fantastic. There is a problem though. Yeah, that is way too thick. Obviously not way too thick for a lanyard attachment, but way too thick for a small or medium split ring. Now, if you have a whole bunch of keys on a large split ring, that will not be an issue. However, a small to medium split ring, absolutely. You're gonna end up more than likely buggering up your split ring. I mean, I wish that Kershaw had made that about half as thick in cross section. But the reason why it's that thick is you have a very thick bottle opener feature and that becomes the top of the bottle opener. The bottom portion of the bottle opener, oh yeah, just as thick and because it is thick, this is gonna work well as a bottle opener feature. Here's the problem though, it's sharp the bottom of the bottle opener right there on the corners is just too sharp. You toss this like this into a pocket or maybe you put it on a large split ring with the rest of your keys and you carry your keys in a pocket, this will eat through your pocket lining. Maybe not too quickly, but still, who wants to deal with that? It's a real serious issue. And honestly, I don't even carry this little guy just tossed into a pocket. There's the packaging plastic sleeve with the paper backing that comes with this knife when you buy it. And honestly, I've been carrying it in here because the bottom of that bottle opener feature is that sharp. That's not something you should have to do. But again, this is a small keychain sized knife that I like despite its features, not because of them. Handle. Yeah, that's going to be your typical glass reinforced nylon handle scales. Now there is another version out there that comes with rather beautiful copper handle scales, although that's going to be twice the price, unfortunately. And just in case I forgot to mention it, once again, as usual, specs in the description box below. Be sure to check that out when the video is over. All right, moving on. Let's open this guy up. Now, it does use a skeletonized liner lock, and as you can see, that tiny liner lock engages very well, very well. In the closed position, perfect centering on my cinder. 
in the open position, yeah, that liner lock, rock solid. Now here's the problem though. The issue isn't the fact that the liner lock is skeletonized to reduce weight as much as possible. On something this small, it's not going to be an issue. Here's the issue though. On the left handle scale, which you see here, that is the entire liner lock fully exposed. Now for some, that right there is going to be a deal breaker. And yeah, personally, I'm not too thrilled about that. The other handle scale, not an issue, but this one, yeah, that liner lock isn't just partially exposed, it is fully exposed. And I don't blame some people for immediately deciding against this knife just because of that. I will say that in the hand, even bearing down on it, I've never accidentally unlocked the liner lock on this knife. But still, I wish it wasn't fully exposed on one side of the handle. Here we have some very shallow grooves. Yeah, that's just for show. There is zero traction. Those grooves right there, they may look a little impressive, literally just for show. Now, another problem with the fully exposed liner lock on one side of the handle, when this is in the closed position, that cutting edge is barely, barely covered up by the handle scale. And again, that's going to be another deal breaker for some people because you might have this in a pocket with your keys and you're walking along maybe you need to reach for your keys oh the knife comes slightly open you reach into your pocket and you cut your fingers not fun but yeah that that's another issue right there you just saw it that cutting edge is barely barely covered up by this handle scale. Now, I will say that the detent on this knife is excellent. One of the best I have ever encountered. So that's a good thing. This is not something that's likely to accidentally open up on you because the detent is magnificent on this knife. Could it still partially open up on you? Yes, it could, but it's not very likely. Unfortunately, having a very strong detent on a knife this tiny means that when you go to access it with the one-sided thumb stud, it is very awkward, and you can very easily slip onto the corner of that cutting edge and again slice your thumb. This is not something I would recommend opening one-handed even though I'm doing it here on video. I would much prefer if this were a nail nick feature instead of a thumb stud. I mean this is yes you can open it one-handed but it is very awkward to do so. And there's the blade shape. It may look a little odd, but when you take a look at this knife, the way the blade and the handle are contoured, let me show you something. Keep in mind, I wear large sized gloves. I can get a comfortable three finger grip on this keychain sized knife. Very comfortable 
three finger grip overall length just barely barely over four inches in the open position that's blade tip to the very back of the knife open position overall length just barely over four inches and yet I can get a solid very comfortable three finger grip despite that sharp bottle opener feature very comfortable especially with my thumb on the spine of the blade this is the most ergonomic keychain sized knife that I've ever encountered and I own quite a few keychain sized knives from a simple using perspective not carrying but using it absolutely fantastic so that's definitely a positive for the knife a negative I mean I hate to say it but that blade shape is somewhat barely symmetrical barely obviously it's not but it is a barely symmetrical blade shape. That means, unfortunately, in some jurisdictions, this is going to run afoul of Dirk and Dagger laws. As stupid as it seems, this tiny little blade, because of its barely symmetrical shape, might get you into trouble legally unfortunately most dirk and dagger laws are just stupid idiotic but they exist they're on the books and it often doesn't matter what the blade length is if your knife is classed as a dirk or dagger that's it you could have a short stubby blade like this one or one that's several inches long blade length doesn't matter when it comes to dirk and dagger laws usually that's the case unfortunately but yeah despite the fact that I mean I would really prefer it if this handle scale at least partially covered the liner lock I really would you have a fully exposed skeletonized liner lock on this side I would really prefer it if that wasn't the case I would really prefer it if that was half as thick so you could get a small split ring through there and quite frankly just delete the bottle opener feature and put a longer handle or at least a handle that goes from here to here with this deleted that would make this into a more conventional keychain size knife but seriously that that bottle opener feature you really don't need it on a knife like this and it makes carrying it really a hassle because it will eat through your pants pocket lining but overall despite its features this is a personal favorite of mine I can't 100 percent recommend it because of the reasons already outlined but if you're interested in something like this yeah check out the description box below. Guys, I'll see you next time. Please continue to stay safe.